Hey, you'll get blinded by my dad. And also, I have two special guests, and I'm closing my eyes now. <laughs> Suck on those disco balls. <laughs> hey, seriously, Dad, you're giving me a headache. Do you want to give me a headache? Okay, so, <laughs> advice for high school. One, uh, be on time to school. Two, don't get in trouble. Try to stay away from people that are bad examples. Put yourself in good groups. Three, don't get caught with these because they will take them away. iPods and stuff are allowed. You can wear pajamas to school. Um, and and I haven't been there, but I think that it's a good idea to not wear too much makeup. And slippers. Um, don't really... When you're picking out things for high school, don't think about, like, oh, my friend's doing this. I should do it. Oh, my gosh. Um, Hawkeye's going to be in that class because I did that with automotive, and I... It turned out to be fun, but it it's not something you should do. Um, don't care about boys. Just try it. Just stay thing. away from boys. You can date boys, j be around them, but just don't. If you, that boy is like a jerk or something, stay away from them. Um, don't start drama. Don't be in drama. Don't get yourself involved in drama. Don't try to start crap with people because then you're definitely gonna start drama. Um, because it's not something everyone needs to know and be around. I see drama all the time, especially in high school. There's drama there um, everywhere. You'll see chicks about to punch each other. Um, don't be, don't worry about what you, what you wear. Doing? Just run on something. School, it's Can not important. I want to put that back. Um, but put yourself I mean, in no, classes no. you will enjoy don't um, don't no, shoot i lost my train of thought don't do it because your friends are doing it just do it because you feel like you'll Not enjoy it like, like choir um metals wood shop art automotive and messier every day um, do you like after school activities like homework club if you think that you need help it's there's people there to help you if you need help and nope. it's a good thing I've made friends okay. there and it's yeah. just a blast um, I enjoy going to it every day well not every day Tuesdays and when Thursdays go to it's fun going to after school events like basketball football go to dances um, just do things fun with the school it can be a blast like with homecoming, I thought it was gonna be boring, and and apparently it was a formal. I guess I saw people in dresses, like it was kind of prom, and I was in a sh shirt, jeans, and Romeos, and I kind of stood out. And who cares, honestly? But it was kind of embarrassing. Um, but you still like fun. Don't get yeah. I had fun. Just don't get yourself too far behind, cause it can be a pain getting caught up don't don't text during class you'll definitely get your phone taken away especially in my health class it's i get my phone taken away all the time um i also got accused once for having a phone out when i didn't and got in trouble don't go off campus um it's tempting especially when you're a freshman and you see upper class class Wait till after school. You don't want to have to go through lunch detention. If you miss lunch detention, you have to go to um, after school. Um, then if you don't go to after school, you have to go to Saturday school. And Saturday school is boring. You just sit there with a bunch of druggies and stuff. Um, it's not fun. I see kids all the time in lunch detention. It can be boring. I mean, lunch is where you get to stay out of class, be free, kind of take cell phones out. You can have your cell phones out during um, lunch. Just not during class. Yeah, um... Unless just not during class school. you can't take your phone out during passing time um or i think that's it but um don't be late to class because i heard that you can't future jobs can look at how many days you've been late and kind of determine freshman you year you're kind of getting used to things seeing upperclassmen having doing things and you want to do it and so it's kind of tempting, but don't worry about it. Anyway, if you have any questions, comment. Uh.
Hi. Hey, so um, here's our next guest, Nikki. By the way, the last one was Tessa, because I don't know if anyone said her name during it. So anyway, Tessa is my sister, and me and my friend Caitlin right there, and my sister Tessa who's over there. We're looking through my nail polish. Tessa. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> right, we're so gonna speak. We're gonna speak, dog. <laughs> okay, so we're speak. Gonna <laughs> what? We're speak. <laughs> okay, we're all we're <laughs> us three girls. Since we've been through this, we're gonna be talking about no. Well, me, her, right there. Made it. Don't tell me to speak when I'm not a dog. Speak. <laughs> We're gonna do a video of giving you guys advice on if on um what to do if your boyfriend's treating you like crap. I haven't really been there. I mean, once I had a boyfriend, he refused to call me, and he he was all like, "Oh, I, I love you and stuff," and but I I don't want to call you, and it's like, geez. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the closest I've been to this situation, so, like, we were only dating for a week, so... Are you said you love you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> he said that! Okay, so, I had a bo What was your boyfriend's name? I'm not gonna say it on the internet. I, I, I'm sure he looks bad enough himself. No offense or anything if you're watching this. But, um, I don't want to make him look even worse. Too late! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I had a boyfriend who cheated on me, and if you're watching this, suck it! <laughs> Thank you, Tessa, that's a very kid-friendly comment. We were dating for about, um, sometime in October, and we were only dating until November. And he's a seventh grader who's 12 year old, have sh had beautiful blonde hair, and now like oh, uh, you, you too. And um, we broke up a day before my birthday, which was August, October, October whatever. October. When's your birthday? October 26th. Okay, remember the day and before. when? We broke up. <laughs> the 25th because she cheated on me. And if you are watching this, <laughs> I really don't care because it's he just giving. Like he looks like a girl. That's because my mom is a girl. What's your excuse? And I'm not. <laughs> I think your mom's a boy. <laughs> I, I am not a girl. I, I am. I'm a. Wait, I'm a. Yes. No. Um. So when we broke up, I went straight to my friend. Not that dog. <laughs> But my friend Cheyenne Stewart, and I asked her what I should do, and she's like, "Oh, don't worry about it. I already kicked him in the balls." <laughs> 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 but I still think he's a sweet guy. But people say I should get over it, but I can't. Cause you know. <laughs> oh. And then when we woke up, my friend. Mackenzie asked me if I was still dating anyone, and I said yes. Well, no, not really, because he doesn't know who I am. I told her that I'm dating a guy named Zach Montana from Radio Dizzy MBT who lost. Oh, sadly, boo hoo. I cried. So did. Aww. So did that girl right over there. Say hi, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, what? well, this shot is a lot dirtier than um, the last shot. <laughs> well, we're sorry if we offended you. We're not meaning to. It's just a word of advice and keep your head on my shoulder. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> but I knew. Sure. Well, no. Zach Montana is care. 13. He appreciates God and he's really, really cute. But just for to say this, Zach, Twitter me bad. I, I, I doubt he'll even see this video. If he did, love you. So next off, I am going to talk about, like, no, you know what, I'll do this on a separate video. Okay, bye.